What's up everybody? Welcome back. I had a request for a slingshot build. A lot of people ask me about my slingshots. Uh, I make all of them that you've seen in the videos. Building a natural slingshot is about the most simple thing in the world. You walk around in the woods until you find a branch with a fork in it, something like this. Cut it down longer than the slingshot you want so you've got some room to work. In this case, this is red alder. You cut it down to the size you want. You finish it up to whatever level of fanciness you would like, throw some bands on it, and go to work filling the freezer. I'm going to show you this process. Uh, it doesn't take any fancy tools at all. I'm going to do the entire thing with a little bit of sandpaper and my Swiss Army Hunter pocket knife and the saw portion of that pocket knife as well. So, let's get to it. Okay, what we have here is a fork made of red alder. Here's my pocket knife. You'll notice right here I have scratched in a little line. I know that from this tip to this line is exactly four inches. And I like a four inch gap on my shooting frames. So I'm going to line this up so that there is right about there. Make a mark. Do the same on this side. Right about there. And we are just going to cut it off. Now we started. Try and line up my cuts here. All right, there, we have slingshot with what ought to be pretty close to four inch wide gap. In order to make bands fit this nicely and not break, we're going to whittle off this edge here to make it a little bit smoother and less abrasive on our bands. We'll lay right around the top here. Just removing any wood that might be problematic as far as abrasion on the bands goes. This side, same thing. Needs to be whittled down a little flatter. And really, there you go, like you're done. Um, you could put bands on this and go kill some birds and you'd be just fine. I'm gonna sand it some, um, knock down some of these bumps, little side branches and things like this. But building a slingshot is not rocket science. It does not take an incredible amount of skill, talent, or money. Um, this will shoot just as good as your million dollar, you know, made in Italy, 400 different expensive wood laminated slingshot. Go find a stick, make yourself one. Hey there, we're back inside now. Here's our slingshot. Um, I like my handle a little bit longer than many people do. And that is so that I can hang it in the hammer loop of my pants. So I'm going to take my uh, trusty measuring device with the mark right here that shows where four inches is at. And I'm going to go four inches down and then maybe we'll add a little bit. All right, saw this bad boy off. There we are. We're gonna sand it up just so that it's a little bit less abrasive. We're going to sand these tips flat so that there's not any wood pieces to mess things up with the bands. And then we'll band it up, take her for a test drive. Sanded. All right, this is super glue gel. This is Gorilla, any will work. Gel is nice because it doesn't get everywhere. All right, this has been sanded to where I'm happy with it. 
I didn't go any farther than 100 grit because I want it to be a little bit rough. And then I'm just going to coat this with super glue gel. Just squeeze on a fair amount. That's why the gloves are important is I'm just going to rub this all over everything. Um, kind of saturate this bark with it. May have to apply another coat. Super glue is about the cheapest, easiest finish to apply. In my opinion, it is superior to boiled linseed oil because this is waterproof instead of water resistant. Um, if your slingshot gets dirty, right? Like if you've got a really pretty one, obviously I'm not real worried about this one being pretty, but if you've got a real pretty one, you can wash super glue off. It gives it an almost plastic coating. It stays nice and shiny. You can wash it off. If you chip it, nick it, uh, whatever, you just reapply super glue like this and you're done. Problem fixed. So this is pretty well near dry. Um, I'm going to give it about three minutes standing up and put it in the sunshine and it'll be good to go. And then I will throw some bands on it. I'm probably not going to go into making band sets because there's a million videos on YouTube about how to make a band set. Um, for this, I believe I'm going to be shooting 0.8 millimeter latex. I got this cool red stuff, like kind of two tones, like red on one side, like a reddish orange and uh, like a cream color on the other side. So I have 0.8 millimeter latex. Looks like it's dipped latex. It's a little stiff. The uh, frame is done, coated in super glue. The bands are 23 millimeters here, 16 millimeters here, and six and seven eighths inches active length, just to make the draw a little bit easier. Man, it's got some thump to it. All right, let's do a quick recap. This is a red alder fork cut to size with a four inch outside width on the forks. That makes me uh, about as accurate as I can be. These are 0.8 millimeter band thickness with a 23 to 16 taper. Um, this alder fork was lightly sanded with 100 grit and then finished in super glue. And I'm shooting um, oh, 7 16 steel out of it. There might have been a half or two in there. They shoot pretty similar. Uh, but this has a lot of zip. This is, this is thick rubber and it's really, it's really packing a lot of punch. So it'll put food on the table. Um, slingshots don't need to be expensive or fancy. They need to be efficient and effective. Have fun, make your own, enjoy it. There's no need to spend a million dollars on a slingshot unless you're really into having fancy stuff. It's your money, do whatever you want. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know how you like this kind of content. Again, this was a request video. So if you've got other videos that you want to see that you think uh, my expertise or lack thereof might help you with something, let me know. Put it down in the comments and see you on the next one. See you in the woods. Feed the family.